Selling general and administrative expenses. If you can't read that up in the upper left hand corner, uh, that's what that says. Selling general and administrative expenses. S, G, and A. Uh, that's what people call it. S, G, and A. So selling general administration expenses, <laughs> many times I'm going to screw that up, is a uh, financial term that is used um, on the income statement. Uh, it appears on the income statement. It's used in relation to things like net income and um, um, figuring different margins. Uh, whenever you're looking at the, the profitability of a company, you're using selling general and administration, administrative expenses as part of that process. So, uh, what exactly is it? It's actually very close to its name. It's a sum of all the selling expenses, general expenses in the company, and administra administrative expenses uh, of running the company. So, like I said, these things are found on the income statement. Here's a few examples of what those expenses are. Um, direct, indirect selling expenses are things like credits, uh, warranty expenses, advertisements or returns uh, associated with specific products, and then indirect would be things like telephone, interest payments, postal charges, um, and those are sort of spread across all of your different products because they're not attributable to one product in general. That's the difference between direct and indirect. Uh, and then general uh, expenses, general administrative, got to write that time, refer to salaries, rent, heats, light, um, you know, just the general stuff of running a business. Uh, a lot of times uh, that's referred to as operating expenses as well. So um, when you look at SG&A, what you're doing is you're examining SG&A as a percentage of revenue. Uh, that can be important. It can be a percentage of revenue, it can be a percentage of net income, but uh, most often it's, it's examined as a percentage of revenue. So you're saying, you know, if I generate a million bucks in revenue, how much am I spending on my cost of goods sold, which is how much does it cost me to produce my product, uh, which we talk about in depth in another video, and then um, all, you know how much am I spending on this other stuff inside my company, selling general and administrative expenses. Uh, that's what you're examining, right? You're and you're going to want to watch that ratio between what your SG&A charges are and what your revenue is, because you know that goes to profitability. Um, as a little reminder, we'll look at net income as it, as it relates to these metrics. Uh, net income, watch the video on that, is, refers to profitability essentially. Uh, it's, a, it's a marker of whether or not a company is profitable. So if we start with how much revenue we generate and we subtract the cost of goods sold, the cost of creating the product, we get gross profit or gross margin. Um, this is where SG&A comes in. If we take that gross profit, so you know, let's say we do in revenue, we do a million dollars for um, Hasselhoff video productions. Uh, Hasselhoff decides to take all of his old scene videos from Germany uh, and compile them on a DVD and sell it. So his cost, his revenue, he sells a bunch of these things for a million bucks. His cost of goods sold in this case is only 100k because to make the DVDs and compile the video, it's not that much. However, his selling general administrative expenses are pretty high. Because he's got to hire sales guys to go around and sell it. He's got to hire reps to go out and try and sell it to retailers because nobody really wants it. Um, so let's say his, in this case, he's also going to do a bunch of advertising. He's going to put it, take out ads in trade publications and retail publications. Uh, so he's going to spend 500 grand uh, on selling general administrative. You can imagine for companies like Nike, this is a huge deal, right? Uh, because it doesn't cost them very much to produce those shoes in Indonesia with children or whatever they're doing. <laughs> but they do spend a lot of money on Tiger Woods, uh, on Michael Jordan, on sort of their advertising. Um, so companies that spend a lot on this tend to be brand oriented, um, advertising, salary paying type of companies. Um, where like Coca-Cola, for example, their cost of goods sold, it doesn't cost them that much to create Coke. Uh, you know, a few cents for a can of Coke or something. And then whatever the cost of the aluminum is, um, really they're spending a lot of money on marketing uh, and on selling expenses. So uh, in this case, you're still going to make a profit. You know, um, after you take gross profit and you subtract selling and general administrative expenses, you get earnings before interest, taxes, and depreciation and amortization. If you take out depreciation and you take out interest and you pay your taxes, that's what's that's your profit. That's what's left. That's net income. Um, but SG&A is one of the pieces of figuring out net income. That's the important part of it. Is it's like 
All right, how much money did we generate from sales? How much did it cost us to build our product? What did we pay uh, for all these things? Uh, for all the soft expenses, salaries, rent, the, lot, the heating, the lights, the warehouse, uh, that, all that stuff uh, goes into selling general administrative. And then what pops out of the end is profit. So, you know, bad outcomes obviously is if you let something like SGNA get out of hand, uh, or if you pay your people too much, or if you have, um, uh, you know, you've got commission structures that are too high and you're, in, you're left with no money at the end of the day, you're not profitable, uh, that is a bad outcome, that's trouble. So selling general administrative expenses are these types of expenses and the, the overall number is used in relation to revenue to start figuring out profit. It's one of the components to figure out whether or not you're making profit.